Michael Myers has disappeared after having been shot and fallen from the balcony. Laurie Strode has been rushed to a hospital because of the injuries suffered at Myers' hands. This is how Halloween 2 opens, picking up exactly where the first ended. Dr. Loomis is desperate to find Michael, knowing that he has survived and his killing spree won't end. He is right. Sheriff, I shot him. Who? Gentlemen, he's still on the loose. Is this some kind of joke? I've been trick or treated to death tonight. You don't know what death is. Shortly afterwards, an injured Michael Myers gets a knife and kills a nearby neighbor before finding out that Laurie has been taken to hospital thanks to a radio broadcast. Laurie has been heavily sedated at the hospital and starts to have flashbacks of adoption and visiting a boy in a hospital. Watched over by Jimmy, a caring man who has romantic feelings towards her, Laurie filters in and out of consciousness. Meanwhile, Loomis and the sheriff witness a speeding police car run over a man dressed in a similar way to Michael Myers. Engulfed in flames, the sheriff is convinced that they've just seen the end of the killer, but Loomis isn't so sure. Oh, he came out of nowhere. I couldn't stop. Is it him? Is it him or not? The very much alive Michael Myers arrives at the hospital and begins cutting a bloody path towards Laurie, killing everyone that gets in his way. Loomis, still not convinced of Myers' death, is ordered back to his hospital by a colleague and is shocked to find out that Laurie is actually Michael's younger sister. Realising that Laurie is Michael's actual target, he heads towards the hospital to try and stop him from finishing what he started. Halloween 2 is a great movie, and was actually meant to end the Michael Myers' side of the Halloween films. Going in knowing this, and thus ignoring what came after, makes for a much more enjoyable watch. Michael's future indestructibility is evident here, but by the end it is clear he will die in his attempts to kill Laurie. It makes for a much more tense watch, knowing that he just doesn't care. The setting is fantastic. A hospital just felt right for the next step for the movie. It allowed the body count to be increased as well as a few clever death scenes to take place. Michael doesn't discriminate and the hot tub scene stands out. Forget it, bud. I have to go back to work. You want to go for breakfast later? No. I'm sorry. I just have to get back. But don't be that way. No, no, no. Just like before, the acting is top stuff throughout with everyone doing great work. Jamie Lee Curtis is better than she was in the first movie, and Donald Pleasance continues with just the right amount of hamming it up. It's impossible to not completely buy into what you're watching, and for 88 minutes you'll be fascinated. Halloween 2 mixed up the musical themes used in the original, offering a more gothic feel. While not as memorable as the original, the adapted main theme reminds you that the story is progressing, something future sequels would fail to properly understand.
If the Michael Myers story had ended here, then we would all talk about this series in a different light. It'd probably be more respected. Halloween 2 is as direct of a sequel as you're going to get. It doesn't tread any new ground beyond up and the gore and deaths, but it is still extremely enjoyable.